seventh year at the helm at Kansas. The Big 12 Coach of the Year has seen great improvement in this year's club. Coach Brandon's crew. Really, too, it's players that returned that got better, and then also the addition of Jackson. And Zakiya Franklin knocks down the triple. That hampered Georgia Tech to start this season. Leonti knocks down the shot and the foul away from Kansas also making it tough for opponents. Hatsa Leonti once again with a hand in her face and knocks down the three. Hermosa makes one of two, so the Yellow Jackets are on the board. Love wide open, looking down with three, and yes, she gets it to go. Leads the team in assists. Good things will happen if Kubai gets the ball. Just like you said, right there on cue. Averages 10 points a game, a double-double on average for the season as Georgia Tech on a 7-0 run. Kurzgeter blocked by Hermosa. Is came out and hit him with 10 straight points. Georgia Tech has answered. Strotman now has a chance to tie the ball game, and yes, she does. Crafty, she can score left, she can score right, she's a creator, but also getting players involved. Ball. Go to my lightning, getting it into Norea Hermosa. The size advantage there, she made it look easy. Key when you can play inside out. If you move, if you're a shooter, spot up. So it's something that she's got to be consistent with in terms of being smart with fouls, has won, but that she's so important for their team's defense. And Lorella Kubai is getting it done. The extra pass. Jensen thought about it. And going right to the body of Hermosa. She gets the block. Remember, you can move, you can move east-west, but north-south is where you get in trouble. Lightning gets on the board. Remember, she was the team's leading score right in her face. 17-13 lead for the Yellow Jackets, and in the corner, Strathena, and Heat it's her second of the day. Instead, they whip it around. They find Kubai working one-on-one -on -one with Jessen, the left-hand finish, and Lorella Kubai, that is so tough to defend. Kirk Skeeter is a player that, you know, she's got to get some shots. She leads the team in scoring. And that one rolls around the rim. Right. What is it? What do you got? Uh, St. Peter's, the Peacocks taking down <laughs> Kentucky. Shocking the world. It's not a good place to be on uh, Kentucky Twitter. Most Shocked every, yeah, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Stravina, who gets the bucket on the other end, and there's the hustle play leading to the Hermosa bucket. The fifth-year senior is showing her experience and how she's ready for game time. But how about Hatsaleonti following her own shot and putting it back? The physicality that Georgia Tech presents defensively. Here's Holly Kurskeeter. And Kurskeeter getting on the board. The junior. And now you see they go to Hermosa. And Hermosa with the up and under. Well, just the moves and the skill from this Georgia Tech team. Prater sees it roll around the rim. Hatsaleonti with it, looking for Brasso. Brasso going in, tough. I'm just trying to make sure everybody gets We don't want to disrespect nobody here. Nobody. All love. Kurzgeter, yes! Sarah Bates answering back the other way. The fifth year senior out of Fresno, California. And they're advancing. I think experience mattered in that game. Mm -hmm. South Dakota used to getting the NCAA tournament. Ole Miss not having that experience. I th think that played a big factor. Kurzgeter. And we're keeping it on the perimeter for now by Hatsaleonti. With the face up and right in the face of Aisha Won Adenas. Ferris Geeter goes up for the rebound. The three. Yes! 
8-9 matchup in the Spokane region. Nice handoff, and Twin Jackson is there to complete it. Away on the perimeter. Brasso for three. And Jackson with the offensive rebound and okay. some footwork to put it back in. Jackson, who had an interesting story. Top 100 recruit, originally committed to Ole Miss. Well, she just felt like Coach Brandon really cared about her as an individual and her family, and that, that was really important. It wasn't about basketball. It's about life. I was sweating in the first half, Tiff. I'm not going to lie. Sweating. <laughs> no sweat for Lorella Kubai. Making it really difficult for Georgia Tech's guards to get comfortable. Hello. There's Lodemar Lotnin who flipped up that left hand. She's just a durable player. Finish there. Kurzgeter with a touch shot and gets the favorable bounce. Inside to Twin Jackson and yes. Outcast fans out there in the world, they appreciate you as well. Strachmina for a rebound. She's Georgia Tech's all-time leading rebounder. And Twin Jackson is the best shot blocker in single season history for Kansas. Strachmina. Man, it's Book like it. she cannot miss. She's six of seven from the floor. Tech showing a little zone here. The handoff and tough shot. Sharing the basketball, that's what Georgia Tech wants to do as it's blocked again. Prater on the take and nice kind of close out there by Franklin to create a little extra space. She's like 20 something feet from the basket and blocked from behind as Chandler Prater. You can see the way she's settled in here as Kurzgeter knocks down the trifecta. Just one of the great coaches that we've seen in women's college basketball. Inside, Papa Tapulu. Not sure how she got it up against. Is coming your way next. The kick out. Carter wide open three. Dialing it up from the 7 7 over on the 4 0 4. Thomas with the dish. Nice find on the other side is Twin Jackson. Good recovery, and Carter, who knocked one down before, can't hit. They find Lottman. Yes! Loaded by Lottman. You have to do more of that for Georgia Tech. We'll see how she locks in for the remaining six and a half minutes. Bounce pass to Hatsileonti. Gets it off the backboard. Yeah, 34 points in the paint for the Jayhawks in this ball game. Strotmina finds herself there. Nice little English on that left-hand finish. Helps to expand and, of course, show off that skill. On the break, Aviance Carter running and the finish. So cutting the lead for Kansas now, the single digits. All season long, try to clamp down here even more. In the final four and a half as Love fouls Prater and on the make. And another Georgia Tech player is down and that's Lorella Kubai at the other end of the court. We hope she's okay, but obviously that would be a big blow to this Georgia Tech team who's already now trailing by 12. Remember I talked about toughness mm -hmm. with Kubai? <laughs> There's nothing <laughs> keeping her out. How about Sarah Bates with a tough shot? The trifecta falls. Was able to get inside, have easy points, opportunities like this. Oh, Jackson with the finish. Missed the bunny, but she was there to get her own rebound for the putback. 
and the mark that they've left on this program. We think about Kubai and exciting time for Rock Trump. Kansas celebrates after the 77 to 58 victory.